All right, so I am in a, the area is called Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco, and um, I'm in the, it's a very touristy area, and there's not a lot of people out today. Um, so imagine this place is usually, uh, especially with nicer weather, it, it, it's uh, filled with a lot more people. But I just felt inspired to do a quick little video about um, about stop being a tourist. I don't know, it just came to me. Stop being a tourist. Uh, for uh, uh, enlightenment. For, 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 oh, you gotta watch. Always watch when, when, when you walk across the street, you know, be mindful. Um, so stop being a tourist, which means, um, Um, sometimes seeking and sometimes, you know, dabbling. Okay, so there's something inside you um, that wants to awaken, that wants to awaken to your true eternal self, right? And um, so you go to, um, you go to this spiritual teacher, you go, you know, you watch this person on YouTube, you, you go to this retreat, you get this book, you do these spiritual practices. And I'm not saying the, the, they can be very helpful, right? They can be helpful, but there comes a point where you're just like, ah, I want to stop being a tourist. Right. And the reason actually some of these, uh, names like lighthouse right take right there lighthouse so it says lighthouse so you're looking for the light you're looking for the light of consciousness that's your true eternal self but the reason it hasn't happened is because you're 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 a tourist you are a tourist. You're still you're still traveling on the spiritual spiritual journey, right? As a tourist, you're not um, the mind is still. If I if I if I go to if I go to India, if I go to Sedona, right? Uh, uh, if if I read this person, it's going to happen, right? I'm going to have the awakening and it's, it's here right now. It's here right now. You're watching this right now. Your eternal truth is here right now. That the lighthouse is here right now. I don't know if you could see if it's right there. The lighthouse is here right now, but, but you haven't, you, you, you haven't experienced it yet is because you're still, you're still a tourist. You're still, you know, taking photos uh, of of this site. You, you know, your different spiritual spirituality teachers, you know, are uh, are getting in the way of you knowing your true eternal self, right? So this actually became uh, this sign was interesting so this is the famous you know believe it or not Ripley's believe it or not right and I don't know what comes to me in that is is that is that oh you see you see, you're, 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 you're on the trolley. You're on the, well, I guess that's a streetcar. That's not a trolley. But you're still, you're, you're, you're still traveling. 
You're you're on you're you're on that trolley. You're a tour, tourist. You're always going someplace, right? You're going to one teacher. Uh, you're reading another teacher. You're going to another retreat, right? And again, they they have their place. And I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying if you're frustrated that you haven't had an awakening yet, um, it's time to let go being a tourist. I am I am ready to not stop being a tourist. I don't want to be a tourist anymore, I guess is what you, you should say. Maybe that's the meditation for today. Stop being a tourist. I want to end being a tourist and and just be, right? and just be. And I think another, going back to the believe it or not, um, I think in, in some respects, I think you, you, okay, just be, let's just do an experiment. Just be present with me. Just let go your identity, right? Feel your breath, right? Feel your, um, no self, just be no self, just die to yourself. You no longer exist. Okay, just be present, right? Who's aware of this? What's aware of, of this now moment, right? And that's it. And that's it. So the, um, it's that, it's that simple. It's that simple. Right. But you don't believe it. You don't believe it's that simple. Right. There, there's something inside you that doesn't believe that, that this, um, that awareness and just being present with what is. See, I got, there's people around me, there's there's noise, there's trucks, there's the smell of the ocean, right? It's, it's foggy out, right? Right? You're in the fog. You're, when you were a tourist, you were in, a, in the fog, but the fog clears when you let go and you're just present with what is. Right? I'm present with the palm trees. There's palm trees right there. See? And, and it's all right here, but you don't believe it. You don't believe that it's this simple. And in some regards, I might not have a b b believed it. I had the I had a satori while I was jogging, and I was just like, "Wow, man, wow, wow, this something happened. Something something opened up." And in in on in one regards, it, it was so simple and so um, so obvious. Yet, because I lived in ego consciousness, it didn't, um, I, uh, I, I never recognized it, right? But, but it, it stuck. That's the Tory stuck. I mean, I did have some hiccups along the way after it, but eventually it, it did stick. So, so I didn't have to go through a sort of believe it or, or you know, or not phase. Um, well, I mean, maybe after, even after when, when the pain body started roaring back, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, on and off I went through it. But, but... Uh, the Satori came first. So, so if you're seeking and you, you are being distracted, you're being a tourist, 
You just got to let go. Let go, let God be present with what is. Die to the self. Die to your identity. And you won't have to believe it because you'll, you'll live it. There's no belief, by the way, in um, enlightenment. It's not a belief system, too, by the way. So that's another good thing good thing about this sign no, the, you, you, the, the ego can believe what enlightenment is the ego can say I mean there are some teachers out there who may not, not have had a, a satori or have connected to their true eternal self but they've read a lot about what people have uh, uh, have said right and they, and they maybe believe it in, they say they Oh, I believe this. I believe this. But it's not a belief, right? It's not a belief. It's it's a realization that is uh, ex, uh, ex, ex, uh, it, it, it's experiential, it, experiential. So there's no, there's no belief. There's no, there's no. If somebody asks Noah, do you believe in y y your eternal true self that's timeless, that's that's boundless, that's that's eternal, you know, I, I don't have to say I believe it. I, I, I know it. I, uh, it's not a belief. It's, it's experiential. Intuitive, I guess, is another word. So... So yeah, so that's actually just getting a little busy around here. So stop being a tourist. Stop, stop, you know, purchasing all these. You see, they're buying all these t-shirts and I'm not saying that that's not a bad thing in the world of form. Yeah, it's fun, you know, play, you know, you know, be a tourist. I love traveling. So that's not the issue. The issue is, is that you're, if you're a seeker and you're always going from one place to another place, another teacher to another teacher, and you're never getting to your destination. Okay. Because it's right here. Right here, it's right here. Just looking at this, like an anchor. Right, there's a big anchor. And then once you awaken, you get anchored in, into the now. All right? You get anchored into the now. All right. So stop being a tourist. All right. So thanks for watching. And until we meet again in the tourist-free, <laughs> eternal now moment. And we got a little... Got a little. Music to go along with this.